safety tip on Predator's tricks. Uh, I tried this before, but somehow my video got deleted on my camera. Uh, but what I wanted to discuss today was basically the safety tips for children, um, women, but basically anybody. Uh, Predator's tricks uh, for children are basically, you know, I, I don't know if anybody knows it. Some people will know this, but not everybody will. Um, one of the things that they do is they'll do, they'll basically just use tricks. They'll carry a dog leash around, and they'll be calling out a fake dog's name or or whatever, and then they'll uh, look into a child and say, "Hey, can you help me find my dog? Uh, she's pregnant, and she's gonna have puppies or whatever they're gonna say. She's she's gonna give birth, but I'll give you one of the puppies for free if you help me find her." Automatically, kids go, "Yeah, I'll help you find that dog." Or they act like they're they can't do certain things like they can't lift a box they need your help or they have too much and they need, they need your help and they'll go right to the kid and they'll say hey can I get your help with this and just take it to my car next thing you know the kid's in the trunk so one of the one of the things that people have got to watch for and tell kids is strangers or anybody around you that you don't know I don't care what they look like I don't care what you think I don't care they're people you do not know Okay, straightforward. That's how it is. Um, what about an officer? You know, I'm gonna let you guys have that one for your own personal opinion. I have my own. Um, just out of bad experiences with uh, having knowing crooked cops, um, things like that. I. That's up for you guys to decide. They're human. They're gonna make mistakes. They're gonna do things. It doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter where you're at, what kind of line of work you're in. Yeah, I mean, people, people screw up, they fail. Um, one thing I do uh, recommend, however, is to make sure that your kids understand that it's never okay for an adult to come to a child without a parent involved or, or a guardian or anybody that's the, the authority, like your aunt or whatever. Um, you have to have that person there. They don't need a kid's help. Plain and simple. They go to a kid instead of an adult. Even if there's adults to the side, then more than likely they're shady. Okay? They will also uh, groom parents. This is coming from a book called Predators. Uh, and it's uh, about several cases and what they did. They did a study with many of the different, uh, basically, a lot of these guys. Did a, they did a study on a lot of different types of predators, and one was a uh, was a serial child molester, and he uh, he did uh, he told them about how he used to groom what he called grooming families. He would be in a position of some sort of importance or like a, a teacher position. This one particularly, he talked about when he was a, he posed posed he knows he wasn't one but he posed as a uh, ice skating instructor and he did this for this family and he would groom them and they trusted him implicitly and he said hey you know what and one and one time he got his chance because they started trusting him he said he also used to groom churches that's right you're not even safe even just at a church just because it says church doesn't mean it's the safest place in the building you know that's just how it goes but he groomed a congregation to think that he was just this wonderful young man that, you know, he didn't have a family, didn't have children, but he just wanted to get involved with the youth and, and the young kids. And uh, he said he would only go to churches that had, um, what was that, summer camps? They would, he'd go to summer camps and that's it. And then he'd get really involved with them and then he would take the opportunity to go to those summer camps to have, basically be alone with these children for, you know, however long they were there. It's disturbing, and and I know, and I know this is a serious topic, so we have to embrace the fact that it is serious, but at the same time, we got to embrace it as knowledge, not as something that we're going to go, ooh, don't talk about that, don't talk about that, that's serious. That's why it needs to be talked about.
plain and simple. I mean, if you're not talking about it, you're not educating yourself about it, and you're basically uh, being as ignorant as anyone else. And it doesn't mean that these people are ignorant. Some of these people, I mean, sometimes you're just, you just, the possibility of being victimized is there. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how safe you are. It doesn't matter how good you are. It's possible that you're going to get victimized. Okay, I know that was a real big upper for everybody, but the fact of the matter is, is that's the truth, and I'm trying to give you guys truth here. Um, the other tricks for women, not all the men that are good looking and have money and all that stuff, guess what? They're not all good guys. You don't, I mean, that's just a <laughs> straight up fact. I'm not saying that, uh, you know, the only good guys are the, uh, you know, ugly guys that are broke, but I'm saying that just because they're good looking, have money, they don't seem to be creepy for you because they're good looking, so they're not creepy. What this guy would be doing, say if the guy wasn't attractive at all, what this guy's doing would be creepy if the other guy was doing it. See, and that's for you. See, I'm sorry, that's on, uh, that's on us as humans. You know, you, you wrap it up pretty and we're like, ooh, it's shiny and pretty. Mm, yeah, I like it. And that's just not, it's not realistic. You don't know who the person actually is in here or in here when you just first meet them, okay? And more than likely, you'll never know until that very fateful day that you're unfortunately caught in a situation. But to save your life, I'm going to tell you now, just because he has money, just because he has all this and that and the other, doesn't mean anything. And then, of course, for women, don't go alone. Okay, predators will prey on those that seem weak or by themselves. You know, don't be foolish. You know, just, and don't set your drinks down open and don't give them to whoever. I just talked to a, a friend of mine at, at work and she was talking about how she was in Germany when she was in the military. And she sat, she goes, I used to give my drink to anybody. And she goes, but luckily I was with my friends because I picked up a drink and I, and I got roofied. Fortunately, she was with friends, and they just took her home. But at the same time, if you wouldn't, if you don't do it, you're not going to suffer for it. You know, you're not going to pay that price, and you don't want to pay the ultimate price of that. So you got to be careful. You got to use your head. Just because this, this guy's been really nice to you and he's been buying you drinks, it's because he's trying to sucker you up, man. He's trying to get you to the point where he can just take advantage of you because your inhibitions are shot or your mind isn't there so he can just totally throw a roofie in your drink. You know, I mean, that's how it is, unfortunately. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, it's not pretty, but that's just a fact. That's, all, that's how it goes. Um, another predator trick. Straight up ambushing you. Blitz attacking you when you're going to your car and you're not paying attention. You got your headphones in, you're texting on your phone, you're fumbling for your keys in your bag. What is it, you know? You're doing all these things that are unsafe. Your eyes aren't open, your head's not up, you don't have your stuff ready. What are you doing not being ready already? Okay? There's ways to learn how to do that. Watch my safety tips. That's coming up. You know, this is actually, uh, I'm trying to help with this safety tip to help bring attention to what they do. I'm going to do a tip thing later on to show you tricks on how to get, to get through this and get away from it. Because um, avoidance, um, awareness, avoidance, these are two other things, man. I mean, it's like a double A battery. You need it for everything. You just got to have it for your personal protection. Uh, I don't care if you're a master of Kung Fu. If you don't have any, a way to avoid violence or avoid anything, if you're not aware of your situation, surroundings, and all that beautiful stuff, um, guess what? You're going to get tromped on. That's just how it is. You're going to get blitzed. You're going to get nailed. I'm like, and I don't care how much kung fu you know, man. You can have the sixth sense of Spider-Man, and you might still go, "Hey!" and you can get caught in the face. 
Why? Because instead of dodging it, because you didn't really see it coming, you just went, there's danger, and it's just boom. And then, and that's if you even see it coming. You might even go, oh, you might have this thought, you're like, man, my fun. I feel like something's wrong. Pow! And then you're done. Sometimes you got to learn that keeping your eyes open, and I'm not, I'm going to talk about some other things later on, but about getting caught sleeping anyway, but because sometimes we all just get caught, caught being unaware. Um, make sure you, but I want to bring out this video just mainly so people can uh, get educated on the fact that not everything's what it seems. You have to be careful on what you're looking for. I mean, don't take it for face value. Question it. Okay, if your gut's telling you to question it, then you better question it. Those may not be butterflies of love, but it might be but it might be butterflies of uh, of danger. So you might want to figure out which one of those butterflies they are. Okay, I'll take this. Be safe, and I, I hope you guys have a continually uh, safer and better life.